Hi everybody, this is Jean-Charles Compagnon with the Kiwi Apps and uh, there's been some long discussions about uh, descriptions and the new Cassini search engine and how descriptions are now being crawled by eBay and indexed. So I'm going to try to show you today a little bit how search engine crawl descriptions and what you can do to uh, improve your descriptions and prepare for the new Cassini. Now of course what I'm showing you here is just w my knowledge. It does not have anything to do with what the reality might be. However, what I'm going to show you is uh, global knowledge on how pages are being crawled by search engines such as Google, uh, Yahoo, Bing, other search engine, and thus now the new Cassini. So let's take um, let's take an item for example. Let's take uh, this item right here and let's explain to you how Cassini or how Search Engine would uh, try to index this item right here. So the first thing that your Search Engine would do is take the title here. So we're going to take this title, copy it, and paste it to our notepad here to try to show you how that works. So it would take the title here and it would find keywords in the title. So how is a search engine going to find keywords in the title? Well, the first thing is spaces. So what I'm going to do here with my keyboard here and show you is what is being done by programmation, by programming, I guess, uh, within the search engine. So of course this happens in a fraction of a second of fraction of a millisecond actually but I'm doing it all manually to explain the whole process to you so it would first uh, isolate um, keywords based on spaces so here is what we would get oops a little character here and so we would end up with those keywords the next thing that the search engine would do, and it might do this before this first step, it doesn't really matter which, which step it goes, it would go through and look for things that needs to be removed. So here there's and, nobody needs and, so it's probably removing the word and, therefore is a waste of character, however it's my decision to use it. But I'm, I'm showing you what happened. We could also assume that this here would be marked by Cassini or the search engine as a let's look at this one let's not remove it but let's put it on the side to see if it's uh, a SKU number or, s or or some kind the next thing that it would do is it would go down there and it would look at your item description so it will then take this actually I'm gonna copy it and it's gonna add it there so texture would be a word and curly would be another word. Hair type would then come down here and you can see how this one it's going to be smart enough to know that it's not hair and then type. It's hair type as a keyword. Sometimes in search engine you can refer to those as um, together keywords and, and have quota around them but we're just going to leave it like this and then I'm gonna take this that's actually a custom keyword that I added or oh, not a custom keyboard but a custom uh, item specific and you're gonna see how those are important down I'm gonna separate it so we can isolate the case and Cassini is smart enough to remove those semicolon length long So of course this takes a lot of time because I'm doing it all manually. I'm going to put those actually up there because they're just regular. I just want to keep my custom one to show you um, the need for it. Style, full wig, all of those are default within, um, within this category. There and color is inside the reds again all of those are 
uh, default item specifics. And shade, it's also a default one. Alright, so we have found that um, this, I'm going to actually add a comment to further research. That's what Cassini would probably do. Would probably do those as title keywords and item specific keywords. All right, and custom item specifics. All right, so now from this. Cassini is going to try to rank um, keyword and, and once again we are not at that point searching for the item. I'm explaining how Cassini would index your, your keywords. So one of the next thing that we know is that Cassini would grab a beginning of your description or some part of your description. So I'm going to go and revise this item so that you can see my description. So let's see, scroll down there, and we're going to assume that Cassini is grabbing, I don't know, some people have said first 150 character, first 200 character, you know what, I'm just going to grab this for example. I'm going to grab a little bit of the beginning. We don't know how much Cassini is grabbing, and I'm going to copy it here. And this is what I'm going to call the short description. So the first thing that you're going to realize uh, is that I have a lot of HTML at the top of my template. All of this, this basically makes my template I uh, um, emulates Internet Explorer 8. So if you have Internet Explorer 9, it will display like Internet Explorer 8. So this is great, very useful. However, let's look at it. This is one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this right here is a waste of 60 character. So if Cassini is looking at the first 150 character, boom, I just got shafted there. Let's look at what my characters are after. So if this is 60, we can assume that fairly closely that up to here is 60. I'm not going to count all of my character. And so to the end of this line here would be 150 character. So we could assume that this here is the first 150 character of my description which has nothing whatsoever to do with my item. So that right there, if there's a ranking, I'm being shafted for it. If Cassini is looking for the 200 and not 150, then that would be 200 right there, and I am d getting double shafted. There is no information whatsoever on my item. So if I was a little smarty pants, I probably would update my description to just have all of that right off the top. Even if it doesn't display right correctly, I would just copy all of my keyword into my short description, or what I call the first 150 character. I'm not going to do it here because I'm going to show you different ways of, of doing it and making it more efficient. But my point here is that if we go back to my item, what I believe a lot of us should start doing is instead of having this great template here, you should have what's called a short template. So you should have up here a short recap of your items. So in this case, let's see how I could do this short recap of my items. I could easily take the title and just copy that up there. And I could take for example, my short description here and copy that up there. This would increase the number of keywords that would be up there. So let's try to take that quickly. 
take that and I'm gonna open a new notepad and show you what I call my short description and really the only reason I'm using this short description is just to get better ranking within Cassini and again it's not only because it's with Cassini it might just be because Google might well all your search engine work the same way and so I'm not only making potentially making Cassini happy but uh, I'm making all their search engine like Google that might crawl my uh, my item so let's see up this is just a recap of basically my description there yeah I repeat the color and some keyword and up there the title so this would be my short description yeah and I'm gonna add that to make to make it look better so I'm gonna copy that and now I'm gonna go and revise my item come on come on eBay you can do it I'm gonna go to my description by the way I'm gonna fill this field because it seems to want to know where it's from and if you ever oops what happened here if you ever bought a wig they're all made in China if somebody is telling you they're made from America they're just lying to you wigs are all made in China okay and you can see uh, default and this light blonde mix is my um, custom one so I'm gonna go here in my description and I'm just gonna paste what I called my short description on top I'm gonna look at it as HTML or standard I'm sorry standard and it doesn't look that great so I'm just gonna go here and let's see long mix fiber length texture skin part yes size medium skew this so now I have a short description up top of my item I'm sure you can make it look good but think about it in terms of HTML so let's see let's save that and of course you can make anything look better but here I'm, I'm the goal is to optimize for search engine and again you can optimize for one thing or the other one being the, the view for the customer because now you have this custom title here which doesn't look that great but it doesn't look that bad either you know it's basically a recap of the thing it's not very readable but you know it's a compromise so now let's look at my revise item and let's look at the description I'm gonna go down here look at it as HTML as a search engine would and here is the code that is on top so I'm gonna copy all of that and put it back I'm gonna close that I just use that for short description take my description here what I call my short description the first 150 character and now it changed to that you can see that I still have my template down there okay so now let's look at it from a search engine point of view I'm gonna try to now index your page as a search engine so first one is long okay so I'm gonna take the word long I'm a crawler I'm Cassini basically I'm trying to give a score to your page so I'm gonna search for long I found it one time here in the item specific okay so long I found one time now I found it two time here in the title if I keep going three time and that's it so I'm giving long a score of three let's look at curly now curly I'm gonna give it a, so I found it one time two time three time so I'm gonna give it a score of three 
Let's look at light. Found it one with my custom item specific, two with the title, three with the color, four again in the color. So four for light. Score four. And I'm just gonna do Auburn and I'll stop here. Auburn one time, two time, three time, and that's it. So now Auburn has a score of three. Now let's look at this further to research item. So Cassini is gonna think that maybe this is a SKU number or UPC code or something like that. So it's gonna take this number and it's gonna search for it. Boom, and this gets a score of zero. If this has a score of zero, Cassini is probably smart enough to realize that this is not a SKU number and therefore discard it. Boom, this is gone. Now if this was indeed a SKU number that would get a, a score higher than maybe let's just say two, maybe their threshold is at two, then Cassini would, would return this as a keyword. So basically, by using this in my title, I'm wasting some character. But I have other reason for doing it, for me to, to use as a reference so that I can know what to ship. So anyway, Cassini now is discarding this item. Again, you know, I'm, I'm not, I do not have the Cassini algorithm. I'm showing you how search engine uh, crawler works and how they should work and most likely how Cassini is working. So now let's take the keyword wig. So one time, two time, so two time. Okay. Let's take the word, well actually I'm gonna do blonde and I'm gonna do mix. So one time, two time, three time. That's good, three time. And let's take mix, one, two, three, three. Okay, and I'm, oh, let's just do them all, the heck, we're there, zero for sexy, eight sexy, we think sexy, okay, and zero for custom. Okay, so that right there, Cassini ran through all of your keywords in your title. Cassini, let's just say, has a threshold of two, so anything that has below a score of two, is being discarded because really it doesn't pertain to your listing. Furthermore, it might actually demote you. It might actually say, well, here you're using that keyword here that really doesn't have anything to do with your listing, so you're really not that good. So I'm going to give you a minus one. So be mindful that you could be demoted in your index and searches. For, for this video, I'm just going to assume that Cassini with anything below zero below two um, gets rid of it or actually yeah let's just say below two so here Cassini removed that boom that's removed so now the titles that actually are being the title keywords that are actually being indexed and that actually matters would be those those keywords now you can see because when we search for long, here, let's search for long again. It found it one in the item specific, and then it found it one, two more time in the first 150 character or the first 200 character or what we call the short description, the first part of the, of the item. Cassini thought that this was an important keyword because it got found here two times. Okay, Cassini probably just doesn't crawl just the short description. They also crawl the whole description to give it a second score. So now let's look at long and let's look in our description, not part of the short description, and let's search for long. So that is in my short description, short description. Here, since my title is being repeated in my description, this is one more two more because really I'm repeating it in my description as well three more because I have this little thing it really doesn't pertain because it's just as long as but you know we're gonna count it three 
and then we're back to the top. So the second score, including the description, would be 3 plus 3. So it's 3 over 6. Now let's take curly and we're going to search that. So curly, it's in the short description on top and now we have it in the description. 1, 2, and that's it. So curly will get two more, so it's 3 over 5. So this way Cassini uh, determines a score. We don't know exactly their algorithm, but every search engine searches for relevancy, which is basically what I'm showing you here. It's how many times a keyword is going to appear within a listing or within the first 150 part 50 character. Um, Google search engine, for example, indexes the page and then re-indexes all kind of other uh, areas. But this shows you how adding a custom item specific with the word mix gave us a higher number here. This also shows you how repeating your short description within your description itself. So my short description here is somehow repeated right here. Now I can optimize my short description knowing that. For example, SKU and this SKU number should not be in my short description because really it's not in my title. So it has, it does not help me to have it here in my short description and it doesn't look good. So what you should be coming up in your short description is a repeat of keywords or item specifics. By the way, I just stopped at the title here, but uh, Cassini or Google, when it indexes it, will take all of that information and rank scores. Of course, if there is the length long here in the, the item specific keywords and you have it here, well then this is interesting. eBay or Cassini will mark this as bold or as, you know, uh, will mark it as an interesting keyword. Color will be interesting because it's repeated here. Color here, color is repeating, repeated through the description. So let's recap a little bit on how uh, Cassini indexed your description. Cassini will basically first look at your keyword or any search engine will look at your title. Strip it of any punctuation, let's say comma, uh, keywords such as and, um, this here, maybe sexy will go away because it's in, the in, it's in the words that's all over eBay. If you have the look, L at at K, probably will delete that. It will strip out information. Now, it will go through your item specifics because those are very important for eBay and eBay said it, so fill those up. And it will then look at your short description or the first top part of your description. And then it will look at your whole description as a whole. Um, if you want to know what you in item specifics, do a little exercise like I just did here. And you will see what should be in your item specifics. Those are keywords that uh, are important so they should be repeated in your item specifics. If mix, for example, or blonde, or wig, for example, is not being repeated, you know, wig has a score of two here. Why don't I go here in my, uh, and revise my item, and I'm actually gonna add an item specific, and I'm gonna call it, um, here. What could I call it? Um, what could I call it? Full wig. Yes. So I've added now the word wig. Here, I've added full, but 
not really useful. But I, I also want to make it meaningful. Here in my description, rather than having skew and size, for example, here, I'm going to say full wig. Yes. And so now, I've added the word wig to time. So now that I'm revising my item, guessing it will detect that it got revised. And by the way, it's been said that items are being re-indexed or, or can be re-indexed. Uh, eBay has the capability of re-indexing fully your item every hour. It doesn't mean it's going to do it. So let's go back here. So now my score of wig should go to 4, which makes it more interesting. Um, some people have... Now let's talk about HTML. Some people have said that HTML is now not good with an eBay. That is not true. HTML is not not good with an eBay. And when eBay is going to parse your item for the description, they will most likely not look for HTML uh, tag and probably strip them. So earlier when I said that this was in the top 150, really it's not because eBay Let's take my original description to Notepad and show you what a crawler, a smart crawler would do. So let's see, this was not here before. This was my original description. A smart crawler should look for tags like this and remove it. Should look for that. Remove all of that. Images, remove that, remove that. By the way, some crawlers, such as Google, are smart enough to realize that this is an image tag and not to remove it and use the alt um, or title tag as keywords. But for now, I'm just going to remove images just to, uh, just to make it simpler. So smart crawler would remove that, would remove that up until eBay store. Up. And so a stripped page for smart crawler would probably look something like that. So this remove it wouldn't remove all of that, but I'm gonna remove it just to show you, you know, an example of a stripped page from a crawler. Because crawlers are smart enough to remove H HTML. So that's why I'm saying that HTML is not necessarily bad. However, we don't know exactly the extent of it. For example, it's been said that the description, the length of the description is important. So even though here I'm removing all of those tags, if uh, I add, for example, um, on the bottom, let's see, do I have a gallery on this? Yeah, I have created this gallery that I use myself that, let's show it to you, in this item on the bottom, it adds all of that, all of that part here that advertise all of my other item. It is being showed by just one line. This one line here is what imports this whole thing. So from an eBay or length of my description point of view, this is probably, what, 100 character. Um, oops, I'm actually out of here. This object here is what includes all of that. And it's probably one, uh, it, it's counted as just, let's say, 100 character. I'm not going to count them. So this does not make my description very long. Now, let's take... Um, I don't have it in this listing, but let's say I have an Octiva um, gallery, and I don't want to say anything bad about them. They are great people, they do great product, but their gallery here would probably be a bunch of JavaScript that would run, you know, like that. All kind of text and length, which then makes your description longer, which then makes your ratio of keywords over description less um, 
if for example here in our in our uh, long in our keyword long let's say eBay also calculate the length of your description so if your description is let's say 1000 character then 3 over 1000 would be uh, let's see I'm not good at that so 3 divided by 1000 would be 0.3 percent so it would be the percentage over the description would be 0 0.3 now let's say your description is actually you have a bunch of gallery and all kind of thing and it's 5000 instead. Then suddenly, oops, where's my calculator here? Then uh, uh come back calculator. There. Then suddenly my ratio, well actually yeah, it's not 0 0.3, it's 0 Oops. Uh, all right. Sorry. Where are we doing it? Zero. Three. Three divided by a thousand. Time hundred would be zero point three first. Now, if I do it with 5,000, it would be 3 divided by 5,000 times 100, which would be 0.06%. So now, if your description is longer, then your ratio is lower. Therefore, if somebody looks for long, your description is not as interesting to Cassini because your description has is too long of course they're gonna have some kind of ratio because they don't want to discard every description and they don't want to just have description that just has the word long in it or just the title yeah. but Cassini might say for example you know if there is a ratio uh, so let's say now a word you just have long one time in the description so then our ratio would be 1 divided by 1000 times uh, 5000 what did I 1 divided by 5000 times 100 so now our ratio is of 0 0.02% Cassini might say look you know if this is below 0.1% I'm going to discard this key this description. I want people to return. I, I want this keyword to be considered interesting if it returns at least 0.01%. So in the case where long is just found one time and the description is 5000 character lang long, this is not interesting for you. This item is not interesting. If this is counted as 3, because we found it three times, this item is still not interesting by eBay because the description is too long. If now your description is 1000, then it's over that threshold and therefore it's potentially interesting for eBay. So you can see how length and ratios and the number of time your keyword is being found makes a difference. Now, here is the big problem. We don't know what those limits are. We don't know what is in eBay's algorithm that makes an item interesting or not. However, we can smartly understand that if your description is longer of 5,000, eBay assumes that your keyword is gonna are going to come more time. Therefore, this would be a ratio of 0 0.1 and is interesting. If you're However, if your description gets longer without finding this keyword, then your description is not interesting. So, what you have to understand is that if a keyword is not going to be shown many times, then the description should be short. If a keyword is going to come a lot of time, then the description can be longer.
again it looks the search engine looks at ratio and how many times it's being found this is why at some point people were just adding keywords to the bottom of their listing to make Google more interesting Google and Cassini are smarter than that they are able to detect that you're just adding a bunch of uh, keywords at the end or at the bottom or that you're just repeating your title 300 times to make it interesting however if you use the word long and curly and light and auburn in other fashion in your description then you're adding the number of time your item is being found and the description can be a little longer or you can shorten your description by using less HTML less JavaScript less uh, uh, galleries into it now I'm not saying get rid of things because obviously it's a ratio and if you're over that ratio your item is interesting to to eBay obviously we don't want to have you know bare things out there but one way to actually get you know nice view is to use uh, with less HTML is to use CSS scripts or CSS um, pages to actually limit the amount of data that you have for example with CSS this here is not an image it is text which is then searchable for example if I was smart which I'm probably gonna start doing in my uh, in my title would be don't want to wait to buy this wig there you go wig one more time what I could do if I was smart when I would custom this listing is I could say don't want to wait to buy this long wig want it shipped now that would add the word long one more time without making my description very uh, a lot longer so again I'm picking on the keyword long and this gets to be really complicated when you add all of the other keywords because you don't want to say I don't want to wait for this long auburn wig crazy wig blah 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 but you could add keywords there and there that would make a keyword more in interesting for example here which is again CSS with text I could add something like free protected wig cap all or synthetic long wigs again I'm repeating the, the word long and I'm also adding it to the word wigs multiple times which smart search engine will detect that long comes with wigs and so if somebody searches for a long wig here it will be smart to know that you know obviously here I'm just showing the word long but it, it goes further it's way smarter and it knows that then long goes with wig or is close to the word wig so by adding in my description those keywords I'm making my listing more interesting so let's recap already. I'm picking just on the word long and I'm gonna optimize this listing to be uh, to be efficient for a long wig so here I'm gonna add uh, long wig yes so I'm optimizing for that I'm adding this to my item specifics here I'm gonna add long there that didn't change much my description uh, here for the color long light long next long I already have blank here so I'm not going to change that let's go down here and change this one and add long to it again my listing is being optimized for long width this wig cap so I can't really add this long here not part of the listing blah 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 we should 
see, so I can't really add anything else to that. Um, let's see. If I would want to go one step further, I could add, you know, another uh, div like this to actually add the word long. But so here I'm revising my item. And so my item is going to be rescored by eBay. And if we look at the score that we had, then 3 is now going to 5. So my item length description maybe changed. So I added long, so it's going to be 510, maybe 5010. So now, instead of a ratio, so before I had 3 and 5000. So 3 and 5000, 3 divided by 5000 we had a ratio of 0 0.06 here but now after revision we have a ratio of 5 divided by 5010 time 100 of 0 0.09 uh, no, before it was 0 0.06 I'm sorry and now it is 0 0.09 so Oops. So our listing is more interesting. It has a higher ratio. So again, this is very complicated because obviously when you optimize for one thing, you de-optimize for an other keyword. The keyword mix is now not as interesting as the word long is. And that is why in some of the posts that, that I've posted in some other boards, you can see that I have said you need to diversify. What you need to do is you need to take this item as a seller and optimize it for the word long. You also need to take this listing and optimize it with another seller account with the word curly, for example, or Auburn, so that it appeals to multiple people. Obviously, what you want to do is try to optimize your listing for more of those keywords. So again, in the same manner as we optimize for long, we probably would want to repeat the word curly. So here we have curly, you know, we don't want to do this long curly wig here. We don't want to do long curly wig, but we could have maybe a paragraph saying, oh, this curly wig can be used with a curly knife. And here you go, we put curly one more time in there. So you get the importance of keyword. I hope you understand how search engine will fold your page a little bit bet, uh, better and why you might want to consider putting a short description on top, uh, why you might want to consider how your HTML is being laid out. Again, in a description here, uh, if you use CSS, you use uh, style sheets you are making your, uh, your description not as long uh, why is that because for example here let's see I just use uh, the UL and the LI for the for the description which then shows then shows in my listing as those menu here which over and change color and instead of having all kind of style that defines this UL all of my style is inside this style sheet here Oops. so by putting all of this here I have uh, look at this style sheet here I'm actually going to show you this side Ooh, I'm showing you secrets. No, not really. Here, that is my style sheet. So all of this code here, that would be HTML, or that would be all of those lines are not being counted. So if here there's you know another 1,000 character, then my description here is still 5,000 character long instead of 6,000, 
because I added style sheets and that's why uh, some people recommend using style sheets and try to limit your code now if you are not going to limit your code or if you have images for example like me here that takes place one of the things that you should be adding uh, where did it go where did it go where did it go where did my yeah my images came here one of the things that you should add is title or alt some of them use alt you can use both and repeat your title here title equal oops so what is my title long curly my title is long curly wig sexy costume so I'm not I already determined that I would just want to take that because no point in adding sexy and costume if eBay doesn't like it and here for my pictures I would want to go let's see what if I double click on it? No. I'm gonna have to go to the code and in my template here I would add title equals and that whoa that's not what I wanted to add let me put it in notepad to strip it that's just a little trick Up. there long light so I added I added the title what does it do it added the word long so now if Cassini is smart enough to look for those images just like Google is. Google is very smart when it index your your pages and actually looks for those alternative text or title text. And now if I go back to my description after I revised it, then it has added the title. If I hover my mouth, my mouse, it shows the title there. So I have effectively added all of those keywords one more time. And because it's in an image and not just in a plain text, Google is smart enough to realize that those are keywords that are interesting. So again, all kind of different ways of adding it. But I wanted to show you that HTML is not necessarily bad and that it's a balance between the length of your description and the number of keywords. So again, don't necessarily discard all of your templates. But when you get a template, try to find a template that uses CSS. Look at the code of your template and look if there is a lot of blah blah or things that needs to be removed. If you use a gallery like Octiva or some Azure type of gallery, look for one that uses the minimum amount of code. If there is a 20,000 character that you need to copy and paste into your description, that's not going to help the length of your description. However, if this, like mine that I use, this whole thing here, this whole advertising of my wigs, takes less than a hundred characters, then go for it. That's good to add. Look at your keywords and repeat them. Do the same exercise that I did and, and look at which keywords are going to be deemed interesting by Cassini or by Google or any search engine within your description by doing a similar thing that I did. Look for the word long, you know, it's in the title, and try to see if it's a good keyword, you know, within your page. One time here, you can see it comes here. One time, two time, three time. So one, two, three, four. It actually comes down there. You can see sponsor result. You can see right there that Google has determined that long sexy wig was an important um, keyword because it's serving you some other you know customer from wig.com and other places with those keywords the system has identified and you can see it here that auburn wigs is important light blonde is important long wigs 
you know, this is an interesting thing here. It's showing you exactly what's important. So optimize your descriptions uh, and hopefully this will help you. That was Jean-Charles Compagnon with the Kiwi Habs. Uh, feel free to post any comments. I hope that you understood everything that I said. This is very complicated, but I tried to show you an insight as to how search engine works and uh, how they index your description. Thank you.